Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back, Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. I have just gotten off like the practice field, the football field with my son, and uh, it's about nine o'clock, eight forty-five. And uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go fishing. Uh, the the weather has been hot, triple degrees. It is like super hot outside. Um, I was thinking about getting up and going in the morning, but you know what? I'm gonna go fishing tonight. I'm gonna go fishing. I'm just gonna grab my rods. Head out to the coast, fish off my buddy's dock. He has an overhead light, and um, what that does, that draws in a lot of the bait, and that draws in the predator fish. So I'm going to be targeting speckle trout, and hopefully I'm going to get a few reds out of there. Not too sure what to expect. I don't know uh, what's been going out around his lights lately. I don't know what's been going around um, when it comes to night fishing lately. I'm just going to wing it right i'm just gonna go uh not plan trip whatsoever my shirt is kind of sweaty and stinky so i'm gonna change my shirt so i can get out of this stinky shirt so i can put on a clean shirt so it can be stinky by the end of the night but thanks for coming back don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel go to do so like the video leave a comment all that stuff really helps out a lot keeping my fingers crossed that uh there's gonna be some fish there i know um yeah, the name of the, the the game plan is a catch fish, beat the heat. So let's go. Well, me and Sherlock here. Sherlock, you see all these fish swimming around? Sherlock wants to eat them. He likes to eat them whole. You know, <laughs> and still alive. The problem is that he just throws them back up. So you really got to tell him not to do it. Because then he'll almost choke on them. You have to wrestle him out of his mouth and uh Sherlock and I are pretty cool we're not that cool cool enough for him to uh for me to be wrestling oh there's a fish right there oh he came off for me to be wrestling but he he got a pretty cool pretty cool thing going on Sherlock what do you say to the people at home huh you got a little puff tail yeah you got a little puff tail there huh you just chilling this is my fishing buddy for the night He's just chilling. Just a beautiful night. You know, trying to beat the heat and uh, fish at nighttime, although I'm sweating right now. You know, it's, it's about 12.30 in the morning and I'm sweating. Sweaty, sweaty. Let's catch one. Let's catch one. Let's catch one, Sherlock. Let's catch one. Maybe we can get one right here. We can catch one right here. Oh, oh, don't don't say that. That'd be terrible. That's my luck. I see him all right here. Oh, there's somebody just swiped at it. That's no fun. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Ah, oh, I thought it was a good one. It's a sand trout. It's a big sand trout. Yeah. It's a big sand trout, but I got him. First fish of the night. All right. We got desperate. We got gope on tandem gope. White tandem gope. Uh oh. What was that? That was a good fish right there, huh? There we go. I got him. Got it? Mm-hmm. Hey. Little sand trout. Sand trout. Sand trout. Oh, sorry. Did Getting you, you all wet. Oh, oh, he spit spaghetti. that out. Yes. That's what they're eating. The little, little that stuff. That's, that's, no, that's what he's eating. Probably came out of his mouth. That little, sh that little shad. That's a shad? It looked like it. That's what Billy was talking about. I can see the specks. They're everywhere out here. They just won't won't bite. I think I need smaller leader line. Get a bite. 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 Thank you. 
Another little sand trap. Look at this little guy. Sandy. The Sandys are hidden in everything. The specs won't hit on anything. There goes one. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, oh, that's a nice trout. Oh, oh. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh, he's foul hooked. That's why. It's a speckle trout, but he's foul hooked. I think I get him. It's a keeper, though. Maybe. Ah, here he goes. Oh, that's about time. There's a lot of cash for this guy. He's a keeper, though. Yes. I would think so. Nice guy. It's about time. Ah, what you thinking? Hmm? What you thinking? You see that speckled trout? He don't want to. He don't want to cooperate. That's a nice one. He don't want to cooperate, does he? Surely. Who's gonna? Mm-hmm. They see the line too on the fishing pole on the fish. Yeah, that's what I said. I said I think we're fishing. Yeah, I think we're fishing with with too thick of line. I think we're fishing with too thick of line. Oh, that was a nice splish splash. Did you see that? What was that? What was that? What was that? There we go. Oh, ah, he got off. What little is guy. These little bastards. Little, little sand trout. Because sand trout aren't as smart as speckled trout. They'll bite almost anything. Hey. There he goes. That one's a little bigger, but he's still small. Oh, 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 come on. That's a speckle trout. Uh, yeah, that's a keeper. He might be that's short. One. Look how you barely yeah, look, he has that one and that one. Oh. Yeah. He's short. He's not going to keep. Not that we're keeping. Not that we're keeping. You're Jeeper creepers. You're shorty. Go shorty. It's your birthday. There we go. And there we go. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Ah. Ah, uh, oh, crap, slack in it. Ah, uh, there he goes. He's still hooked up. Whew, to get the net. And it's caught on that. There he goes. Yeah. Nice trout. That's a real nice trout. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, we got him. Woo That's a nice one. That's the one we've been wanting today. Uh, this evening. Woo, that's a nice trout. You know, that hover shed's doing it today, you know. It's doing a good job. Thought I, uh, thought I was going to lose him. It all twisted up a little bit. Let me get him off. Here we go. 18 incher. Beautiful fish. 
Nice big guy. I'll let him go. That's what I'm talking about. 18 inch, baby. Let him go. <clears throat> He's gone. Well, you know, it's been uh, it's been tough tonight. I'm just casting and casting. You know, that's all I can do is just cast a lot. You know, I can see the uh, I can see the specs coming up and and banging around. Uh, this hover shad. Let me fix it a little bit. This hover shad from uh, H2O Express. I've had them for a couple of years, and I really never really use them that much. Ah, that got me. I really never use them that much, but um, they're coming in clutch tonight. Look at that. They got me. They're coming in clutch tonight. Um, you know, just they're, they're slow falling, and the bite is slow. The bait are active. They're kind of just hitting on, you know, the little bugs and stuff on, on top, and they're hitting on little small shad, and... Uh, Little small shrimp here and there but they haven't really been consistently biting the specs haven't been consistently biting anything now the sand trout have pretty much bit whatever i wanted them to whatever i put in their face but uh the specs are being a little difficult a little funky um i need a lighter leader line i think will help a lot i'll go a long way uh, trying to get them to bite i probably need like something like around 10 or 12 pounds uh, it, I, I can't go lighter than that, but I think about 10 or 12 pounds would do it. I don't have it, so I I left my lighter line at home, so I'm kind of fishing with 20. This is 15 pound fluorocarbon, so I think it's 16 pound actually. So this is the lightest line I have, so that could be the reason why they're hitting the shad because it's on the lighter line. Uh, but this shad hover shad it's almost like a corky um, if you will they uh, caught a few fish out here on the corkies before but it is what it is you know slow bite new moon no other light in the sky except the light right here that we're producing and we're bringing in some some bait a very little bait but the trout are here the specs are here most of them look smaller but I just pulled out a couple couple keepers, one undersized. So we'll just keep fishing, keep casting, so we can come up with. Well, you know, that didn't quite produce what I was hoping for, you know, but I still had a really good time. I, I really did. You know, I, I wanted to come out and beat the heat a little bit and fish, you know, fish a little bit of the nighttime, beat the heat. It's just so hot outside. Even right now, it's like super, super humid and it's, uh, it's probably like a little after two in the morning. And, uh, you know, I was hoping that the trout would be there, and they were there. They just weren't cooperating, and this has happened to me before, uh, at the same location where I just can't figure out what they want. And uh, if you have any suggestions on how you would have fished the trout, maybe what you would have thrown, or even uh, the technique you would have used, you know, just a little bit of a... You know, give me any kind of, any kind of hints or feedback or something that, that's worked for you in the past, not just for me, but anybody else that is watching. Uh, the trout were there. They seemed more interested in each other than they were me. They were feeding on a lot of small shad and even that small little uh, like glass minnow. Also feeding on some small shrimp. And I tried to change up and get some smaller profile stuff for them to, to look at and feed. I just don't think I had the right uh, leader line. I think they were just like blind shy tonight. 
and like I said they were more interested in themselves than they were me surprised didn't get into any reds um, you know just didn't hook into any at all do rattle trap kind of a few, quite quite a lot too tonight and typically that's that's what, that would really draw bring in some reds but uh, yeah didn't happen didn't happen for me tonight but I still had a great time beat the heat got on the water got the line wet felt the, felt the tug although I only landed a couple of slot specs uh, there was still plenty more out there and uh, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board I know I will be out at the same docks and I'll be out here again uh, pretty soon to figure out what the fish want hopefully I can figure it out go back to the drawing board like I said leave me a comment what would, would you have done different than I would have done or then I then I what would you have done different than I did and uh, hopefully together we can uh, we can figure out this bite but thanks a lot guys don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please go and do so like the video leave a comment all of that stuff really helps the channel tremendously thanks